Guys, what is good? Welcome to this episode where we're just going to remind everybody on the channel not to steal people's money. Don't become a SBF. Don't become a you know, person that people are going to refer to as a scammer, guys. These are, um, you know, these are pretty simple things. Basically, most people already know it, but we have to be reminded, guys. We don't want to steal. Guys, I'm not saying you can't. Uh, again, I, I think all stealing's bad, okay? Just to be clear. But like if you're stealing from corporations and you're a small fish or you know that kind of thing that's still not good that's still you know morally wrong you shouldn't do it either but when you steal from people that are just average people maybe some barely getting by maybe some you know shouldn't even be investing in this ftt token or even have money on an ftx exchange but they're really going at it as a risk to try to you know come up out of the the poverty the poverty that they're in but basically we don't want to you don't want to steal from individuals i would say don't steal period but if you're going to steal make sure you're not stealing from individuals guys i mean if you're stealing something you know if you're stealing a, a good or a you know something from you know i don't know walmart and you get caught i mean the cops are going to show up you're going to go to jail and basically how do i know this why because i got caught stealing guys i got caught stealing when i was 14. um so at abercrombie and fitch guys you remember the store it's still around but my point is is just don't steal at all i mean it's not even you shouldn't steal at all but what sbf did is he was actually stealing from a lot of people lost money guys if you haven't heard people lost their entire life savings um reputable investment firms lost a lot of money guys and it wasn't just they lost it on a bad investment they lost it because of the fraud that was taking place and you know that's just uh the way it way it goes guys so we just you know we don't want to steal we don't want to create a community on this channel we don't want to you know we don't want people to be confused about what cryptocurrency is guys because cryptocurrency is not a scam cryptocurrency is money cryptocurrency is basically it's what you want guys because it's money so if you like money like i do you're going to want to get into cryptocurrency because your buying power in crypto compared to dollars over the course of 10 20 30 years is going to do significantly better than if you hold your dollars in the bank but you know this leads me back to my original my original argument here sbf people were investing in crypto for the first time i know a lot of people at my old job that were had money see guys if you're new to crypto when you buy crypto you buy it from an exchange so you have to go through and you know open an account with the exchange buy the crypto there some people you know out of ignorance they just don't know um but you know hopefully you'll take the steps guys like i did they buy the i have i have i have a couple hundred bucks on gemini exchange right now i just haven't moved it off so my point is is people had all of their money on this FTX exchange. And since the person running it, that's at trial right now, SBF is pretty much um, frauding everybody coming into this, this new exchange because he's using customer funds, guys. When you use customer funds and markets start shifting or you have to cover your losses over here, now you don't have the money over here, it can go bad. As Caroline said, in about a week, it pretty much collapsed, guys. I mean, fully to the point where it was like, probably will go down as the biggest crypto uh, in terms of USD value, dollar amount in history, guys. And I'm sure there will be others. Uh, I'm sure there will be crypto scams in the future of bigger magnitude. I'm not doubting that in the slightest bit. But the only thing we can do as crypto enthusiasts is for one, we don't leave our money on a crypto exchange. We don't leave it on you know, Gemini, Robinhood, we don't leave any of our crypto there. Secondly, we don't leave our seed phrase or private keys from our wallet, our decentralized non-custodial wallet. I re recommend the Badger wallet, Exodus wallet, Bitcoin.com wallet, uh, Zcash wallet. There's a lot of different wallets depending on what cryptos you hold, but you really wanna send those cryptos off your, off the exchange and you wanna keep them in a wallet, guys. And you don't wanna keep that password of that seed phrase guys in you know just out in the open you don't want to just write it down and leave it in your car or 
you know, write it to yourself in an email like a dumbass because somebody finds, can get into your email and now sees 12 words and they know it's a fucking crypto wallet. Boom, they have access to all your money. It happens all the time, guys. Uh, I got hacked through email. I don't even know how I got hacked, guys, honestly. Uh, back in 2018, I got hacked for like a Bitcoin and a half, guys. BTC and a half on hit BTC. It's actually closer to two big BTCs. Cause it was, uh, it was, it was a big loss, guys. So it was just a total loss. Cause once somebody steals your money, guys, that's it. There's no, there's no calling customer service. There's no, there's no calling Chase Bank. You didn't protect your money. That's why it's gone. So. I'm not saying you can't leave a couple hundred bucks on an exchange if you need dollars, you know, for whatever reason. You know, you need dollars, so you need to be able to transfer it off the exchange. But with most of the cryptocurrencies we're talking about, guys, on this channel, you're not gonna have that problem because you can send the crypto from your wallet and the exchange will get it in a matter of seconds. I mean, literally, instantaneously they'll receive it, but they have some of the networks they have to wait for the network to confirm that that transaction is indeed on a block and did it did indeed happen and timestamp it you can follow your transaction and watch that happen guys but it's different from just leaving your money on ftx and basically you know i don't know if you guys are reading the case guys but they were basically just spending the money on all sorts of shit high prostitutes uh saudi arabia prince was fucking invested in this shit all sorts of crazy shit so uh maybe the maybe this guy that from the big short about saying about all these orgies and all this crazy shit that was going on maybe it was indeed happening guys with customer funds and basically it just unraveled and we have to be we have to be you know in the direction of telling people what cryptocurrency is guys because had people known they would have spent probably the two seconds I thought of FTX when it went down, guys. Because if you go back and you watch my episode, we covered in it in probably five minutes. I mean, it was not a big, it was not a big story. It was like, okay, the this crypto exchange basically, um, you know, was they were giving people crypto. You could send crypto off their exchange. You could buy it from FTX and send it off to your wallet but people were just leaving it on the exchange, guys. Right, guys, that'll wrap it up in this episode where we just did one of those crypto confession episodes where it's like, yeah, I got caught stealing when I was 14 and basically, um, you know, rewatch the video and I guess the sum of the story, guys, is just don't fucking steal. It's just a bad idea and you're gonna get, you know, you're just gonna get fucking caught and basically people are gonna be, uh, you know, people are gonna be losing money and shit and they're gonna be pissed. So that's kind of what happened with this SBF thing, guys. Um, but, it's also a reminder too to don't, just don't keep your crypto on an exchange because it had had this exchange has been an exchange like Binance or a lot of these other ones and people are moving their money on and off uh, we probably would have never been making this episode guys or spending any time on any of these FTX topics and nobody would have lost any money so it's fine to buy crypto from an exchange once you do guys get it off get it off that fucking place it's a bad idea to leave it anywhere other than your wallet guys alright guys we'll catch you in the next one